Hi guys, we are here to show you some of the cool features of MeshDesk. In this video, we will show you how quick and easy it is to deploy a new mesh network. This network is centrally controlled and monitored by MeshDesk. We assume you already have a VPS running somewhere in the cloud with the latest version of RadiusDesk installed. MeshDesk comes standard included with RadiusDesk and you can start using it right away. We also assume you have two open mesh OM2Ps that you flashed with the MeshDesk firmware. We start by adding a new mesh network. We call ours Meerkat. Meerkat is a small predator from Africa. After we added the new mesh network, we can edit it. Our mesh network will be simple to start out with. We'll only add one entry point which we will call Meerkat Wi-Fi. This entry point or SSID will be common across all the mesh nodes. The Meerkat Wi-Fi SSID will be bridged through the mesh onto the LAN. Thus we also have to create a bridged exit point. We can also select which channel the Wi-Fi mesh must use along with a few other settings to fine tune the mesh. Right now, we don't know the MAC addresses of the nodes which we want to use in our mesh. For this, we will use the Mesh Desk node config utility. This utility must be listening on 192.168.255.20, which means we need to configure the LAN interface on our Windows machine to have IP address 192.168.255.20. Before we fire up the utility. After we change the IP address of the interface, we can fire up the utility. Then we start up the node to get the MAC address of the node as soon as the node contacts the utility. Once we have the MAC address, we can use it to add the node to the defined mesh network. We repeat this action for the second node in order to obtain that node's MAC address and also add it as a node to the mesh we defined. If you have more nodes, you'll do the same with them. Once everything is added, we can connect the one node to a LAN network with a DHCP server and internet access. Our node will get the settings from the mesh desk server running on the VPS and configure itself thereafter. After this node is up and running, we can start the other nodes of the mesh to extend the Wi-Fi coverage. We can see how the second node will fetch its settings without being connected to the LAN. After it fetched its settings, it will also configure itself like the first node to extend the Wi-Fi coverage. This should all take you no longer than 10 minutes. Every time you need to extend the Wi-Fi coverage, you can simply add another node to the mesh. This helps to cover those dead spots or to expand into new areas. To discover more about MeshDesk and RadiusDesk, please visit our website at www.radiusdesk.com.